What is up YouTube and welcome to the Flash mid-season finale video review. So this was in freaking sane. Now if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated. So please do drop off a like, please do subscribe down below. And well, it's here. This, this will obviously have major, major spoilers for a cliffhanger I really did not expect in the mid-season finale. I did not expect what happened at the end of this episode to happen until the end of this season. So, we start off with Barry being taken by the Thinker and the return of Aminette Black, who is next level cool. Katie Sackhoff, obviously, is amazing. Her playing a dodgy British evil meta once again, is amazing. And thirdly, that she is a badass female who does not like grabby air pilots. Makes her even better, in my eyes. She is an absolute straight badass who isn't particularly evil. She's just opportunistic. And she is back here, and she wants to take Caitlyn Snow. And she took Caitlyn Snow because, well, there is a procedure that needs doing on Brainstorm, who... It's a very, very weird that they brought in Brainstorm for just this, well, seemingly just this episode. Because, well, it turns out he is actually, well, the thinker. So, this episode starts off, like I said, with Aminette Black taking Caitlyn. And I really did like the idea that the, the well, Ralph at least, does actually prefer Killer Frost. Because they are two distinct personalities. It's not like the Incredible Hulk. Where the Incredible Hulk is just, well, the Hulk or Bruce Banner. It's not someone you can go out and get drinking with or kind of hang in and chill out with. Pardon the pun. But it's two distinct personalities. And I really did like going that way. I didn't think they'd go down that route. But they are setting them up as two completely different people. And I expect we'll probably see a fight between the two to decide who will actually survive inside the body. But I love the fact that, well, we started off with an in-joke, which really was really, really funny. And we, we saw Caitlin be completely deflated. And I loved, I really did love the fact that there was a, or a Killer Frost Frappuccino, I guess it's a Frappuccino, uh, at Central City Jitters, which, again, brilliant. But I like the fact that Aminette Black needed Caitlin. She didn't need Killer Frost, she needed Caitlyn, the amazing doctor, which, yes, it, again, it's Aminette Black building her up. Is this some kind of, like, manipulation or things like that to get her on side? But we actually have her needing to operate on a guy, and if she doesn't, she'll die. Very similar, possibly, to Saw 3. If you've ever seen Saw 3, well, watch 1 and 2 first and then see Saw 3, because Saw 3 is amazing. But we also have, again, a trope of... <laughs> where is she? Who should we save? And we have Barry taken by the Thinker, which was, again, really, really cool. The Thinker is 20 steps. He's not just Prometheus 10 steps ahead. He's 20 steps ahead, which I thought was really, really interesting. And the, the kind of way that Barry is really trapped. He's, he's always had something else that's been a problem. He's never really particularly properly lost or been, or been trapped. And the Thinker wants to give Barry the biggest L ever. So that is what's happening this season. And Barry is going to take a hell of a lot of Ls. Now, one thing I didn't like in this was the fact that Iris West was making the decisions. And well, then later on, we realised that, well, Barry, the Flash, isn't in charge of Team Flash. It's Iris West who's in charge of Team Flash. But shouldn't it be the Flash? Just, it's a hell of a lot different... So over on Arrow, we've got, well, the Arrow is leader of Team Arrow. And Iris West makes all the calls for the team, which I don't, really don't like. I would really, really like the relationship between Iris and Barry a hell of a lot more if she wasn't involved in Team Flash or she was actually, you know, not in charge of it. it is, it's really stupid. You've got Harrison Wells, you've got Joe West, two people who have infinite more experience at kind of leading this team or possibly potentially leading the team so it's a real it's, it's just really really weird but the the biggest thing in this obviously was the huge brain switch which is again just crazy i i 
kind of I, I never really expected that to happen when we had brainstorm kind of introduced he is a character who was actually in the comics as well so they've literally just brought in that character for one episode and that is it he's reverted to the thinker which is just it's just mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing and the battle between barry and devoe with the chair we had the battle without central city and things like that was just the cgi looked amazing when they were fighting but when they went through the streets the cgi just really didn't look that good i really didn't like that cgi it just didn't work for me to be honest it was a real shame but the actual i love the fact that the flotation device appeared again and really one thing about this episode which was weird so it really was kind of a lot of weird things sandwiched in between the twist at the end and the opening part when both of our characters are actually taken now one thing which i really liked in the episode again was the fighting dynamic with obviously ralph dibney and also vibe i want to see those two go out on missions together and well wally west was missing once again from the show and he's in cambodia which has actually a link to rose wilson which is really really weird and i the my opinion that we could be getting wally west over in titans is growing and growing and growing as time goes by but the the kind of the middle part of the episode was just really strange we had of course Amulet black taken out really really quickly by caitlin which was just weird but i guess that shows that well caitlin is smarter than killer frost which again is another dynamic which is really really cool we've got the badass kind of real kind of not evil but not good killer frost who doesn't retrain the kind of smart smarts of our friend Kaylin snow which is really really which is weird I, don't, I guess that's the way they're going but we end and we end with of course devoe has taken over the mind of our brainstorm and he has become well him and the body of the devoe the original body has been left inside the apartment and one thing i found really stupid was the fact that barry was just like Oh yeah, it's probably more gifts being delivered. I was like, what? What have you got the Amazon key thing? Is that does that exist in that world where kind of people can just come in and leave gifts or kind of leave deliveries in your house? It's just what? It just really was just bizarre. But the body of Devoe has been left, and well, yeah, which is leading to the trial of the Flash. Now, if you don't know what the trial of the Flash is, I'll explain it quickly. So what happened was, in the comics, we actually had Barry and, well, he was actually getting married to a woman called Fiona Webb. And then what what happened is, Reverse Flash then decided, you know what, I killed Iris, I'm going to kill your new wife. And Barry's like, yeah, no fam, no. And in his anger, he killed him. And he snapped the neck of Reverse Flash, which led to the trial of the flash now this then led to things being weird a lot of things went kind of wrong with this case and it ended up with that abracadabra had actually mind white mind controlled the whole of the jury so the jury have actually kind of been taken kind of taken advantage of and everything kind of never nothing really added up and this this took on for like two years and it's re a really really good comic to read because in the end if you didn't know iris west was actually dead it turns out that her spirit was taken to the 30th century where she lives and she was taken barry decided to go and live with her in the 30th century so he stayed with her and obviously he had his children and things like that which then led to barry having to come back for crisis on infinite earth in which he perished now the question is how much of this will actually be adapted obviously we've got barry going to be on trial he will be on trial how long will he be on trial that's the question the trial of the flash went on for absolutely ages so i expect him to be they're going to do a good couple of episodes maybe focusing on this arc and it will probably end up with barry having to try and reveal his actual identity as the flash which was hinted in the trailer promo for the next episode so i really do like the fact that they're going to have to do that 
Or will that actually happen? We don't actually know. And, well, the lawyer was actually hinted in this promo as well, who really was an unscrupulous dick. So, where, where are they going to go? How far are they going to do with this? Will, will Barry actually end up going to the 13th century to go and live with Iris West in the far, far future, which we know exists, it's been referenced, put over in Supergirl with the Legion of Superheroes. So, it's a lot going on. We also had the possible look at XS, the granddaughter of Barry over in the Crisis on Infinite Earth storyline. So, has she come back in time to try and stop this? And then she's going to take him to the future where he can live in peace with Iris West, only to come back for season five, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, I know that's a complete long shot. I, I don't think that's possibly going to happen. It might do. I didn't expect the Crisis or the Trial of the Flash to happen so soon. However, that is it for this video. I will do a possible think on Godspeed for Season 5 very, very soon. I've got some Justice League news for you as well tomorrow. So that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.